This is answer 2021, section 1, question 52. So we're told that we are reacting copper with nitric acid to form blue copper 2 nitrate plus water plus a substance X. We're told that X does not contain copper or hydrogen and that one mole of the copper reacts to produce two moles of water overall. And we need to work out what our mysterious substance X is. So um, the first thing I would start with is writing out this equation. So we have copper plus nitric acid forms blue copper to nitrate plus water plus X. So here is our equation. Um, Cu plus HNO3 goes to CuNO32 plus H2O plus X. And we have one mole of copper forming two moles of water. So we have to have a coefficient two there. So now what is X? Well, we know it doesn't contain copper or hydrogen, so it must contain nitrogen and or oxygen. So how do we know how much of each it contains? Well, we need to balance our equation and see what's missing. So let's try and balance our equation. For this, I'm just going to take each element and see how much of it's on this side and how much of it is on this side, and then see if we can balance it up. So for copper, we have one copper molecule on this side and one on this side, so that is already balanced. For our hydrogen, we have one on this side and then one, two, three, four on this side. So we need to times our hydrogen on here by four, so we can stick a coefficient four on the front there. For nitrogen now, we have four on this side and only two on this side. So that must mean that our mysterious X has two nitrogen atoms in it. And then finally for oxygen, here on this side we have 12, and on this side we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on this side. So we're missing 4, so this X must also have 4 oxygens in it. So what compound could this be with um, double the amount of nitrogen and oxygen? So that's going to be nitrogen um, dioxide, and we're going to have two lots of those. So if that's our final molecule, then our answer is C.